I'm going to show you how to extract data from an email attachment into Excel. And we're going to use a tool called Lido to do it. We've done this in several different formats before. I'll link those in the description below. But basically, we've got a PDF. This is the invoice that we're going to be using. And we've got it in email format. So it's going to be attached right here. Let me get rid of that PDF itself and show you that it's here attached to this email. And all we're doing is forwarding the email to a particular unique email address so that Lido can extract the data in just one fell swoop into a spreadsheet like this. How do we do that? Inside of Lido, go to Tools, Data Extractor, and up at the top, you're gonna see a bunch of different options from websites to uploads, Google Drive, and emails. Right down here, you're gonna see your personal Lido inbox, and this is the address that you actually have to email that attachment to. I've done this in a previous video where you extract data from the body of an email. Same type of steps that we'll work through today. So we copy that email address, and then I'm going to just forward this. We're gonna do it one more time so you can see how it works. And I'm just gonna send that with the PDF attachment to that unique Lido address. Back here in Lido, what we wanna make sure we've got set up correctly in our extract data pop-up are the columns. So these columns right here correspond to these columns right here. So anything that we want to appear in our spreadsheet, all of the columns of data that we want to extract, we wanna make sure that we type in right here. So we can simply type something in and it'll say new column, just like so and we can uh, consequently X those out to get rid of them if we want to remove one of them. All right, I'm going to refresh, and now we see here is our sample invoice. Boom, that's what we just emailed ourselves, right? Now, uh, once we've confirmed that we've got these amounts, and these amounts will correspond, to, in this case, to our company right here, and then our total invoice amount, and what else did I put in there? The invoice number. So we want those three things extracted from the PDF. You can write additional instructions in here just to make sure that it follows the directions that you need it to. If you have specific directions, I'm gonna type something to the effect of just make sure you extract stuff from the PDF. And then we'll click the extract button up here, and that will think for a second, do its little thing, and then what we should see pop up over here is Invoice 123, 1950, Montevallo Design Studio. And again, we can double check, yes, we've got the right studio, the right amount, and the correct invoice number. Another thing to be aware of is that you can actually automate a lot of these things. So if you turn on Automate Process Emails, it's going to run every five minutes on the five minute marker, and you can even get it to email you the results, uh, schedule a daily CSV export of this table. So it's gonna check that email address every five minutes and bring in anything new that's over there. Additionally, if you have multiple emails in here, then this process all emails button will be highlighted and you can actually bring them all in at once to that table. And you can even check this box right down here to delete emailed rows. That way you're not getting duplicate information every time it sends you that scheduled CSV export. Okay, so now we have it in a spreadsheet format. And if we wanted to do anything else in here, this functions just like in a spreadsheet itself, like Excel or Google Sheets. You can type in formulas, manipulate the data, whatever you need to. But I'm going to assume that you just want this down into Microsoft Excel. So let's now export values to Excel. It'll pop open an XLSX file on our desktop, enable editing, and check that out we have successfully done exactly what we came here for. Now, if you wanna see some other use cases for this, you can check out this video where I go through other ways to extract data from other sources. So you can do this with PDFs like we just did in an attachment or straight up from an upload, or you can do it from an email body and you can even use web scraping tools to scrape website data from a website. Let's see how many times I can say website there. Hope it's helpful for you. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Hope you have a great day.